Thank you for joining us on how to double crochet for beginners. For this tutorial, we're going to use Mary Maxim's Best Value yarn in the color Wisteria and a size H8 5 millimeter hook. We're going to start by chaining 12. Notice how we have a uh, 5 to 7 inch tail. And if you haven't had a chance to check out our tutorial on how to chain, make sure you take a look at the link in the description of this video. So let's talk about why we're chaining 12. So the last three stitches of this chain are going to equal the first stitch in the row, so the first double crochet. So we're gonna have 10 stitches total. That means the first three equal one double crochet, so we need nine more. So three plus nine equals 12. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over by wrapping the yarn from behind around the hook and inserting our hook into the middle of the fourth chain from the hook. So that's the middle of the fourth chain. Let's get a little closer look. Now yarn over and pull the yarn through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through the two remaining loops on the hook. Let's try this again. Be careful not to twist the chain. So if you notice right here, it was like a little kink in my chain. I wanted to stop and double check and make sure I wasn't twisting it. So now we've finished our row of 10 double crochet stitches. We're going to turn, and for the first stitch of the next row, we're going to chain three. This is important because it helps keep our rows straight, but always make sure to follow the instructions in the pattern. Some patterns do not call for this. Yarn over and insert a hook and continue um, as you've done previously. So I just finished my ninth double crochet, but I still need to do the, the next one.
Always make sure that you insert your hook into the chain and not in between the stitches. So we've got two rows of 10 double crochets. It's always good to count your stitches at the end of each row. Take a look at this sample from our sampler stitch afghan. We did, um, it's 10 inches by 10 inches of single crochet. So notice the texture here. You can see some definite lines in the rows, which is really fun. And you see how loose and tall these stitches are. Also notice how straight our edges are. Thank you for joining us on How to Double Crochet. Make sure to follow all of our social media profiles and happy crafting.